Guys, before we start today's video, a little word from our sponsor, me. Uh, as you guys know, I've set up affiliate links and stuff down below. I basically have set my channel up so that you guys purchasing things at no additional cost to you sponsors the channel. So if, I, if you guys are purchasing any of the items you see on the channel, please take a look at the affiliate links down below for other things. Tools, knives, stones. I even have a Blade HQ affiliate link, Coffee Brand Coffee, and a VPN. So guys, without any further ado, here comes that studio intro. <laughs> No intro, no outro on this one. What are we going to do? Well, we are going to take this knife apart. This was the first of those garbage knives. So as you guys know, today is the first. I'm filming this on the first. So that means I get my Norseman back because you guys were kind enough to subsidize some repairs. I'm still waiting on parts uh, for my vehicle. And the deal was that I would carry this knife. Actually, this was the first one that was in pocket for the entire month of May. And I did. I carried this. You can see it's been used a lot. Surprised at how not completely horrible this was. It did require a lot of touch-ups on ceramic rod and things like that. But the deal was I carried this for the entire month. I am going to do a sharpening video of this and I am going to send this to Jared and to Tri-State for them to also review. Uh, since this was the best of the three crappy Alit Edge, but I'm not going to lie, I was very, very surprised at how well this one held up. Unfortunately, this one didn't make it 48 hours. What happened was in the process of carry, somehow I snapped this open uh, and it carried over and it completely snapped past the lock bar. So we're going to take this apart and see if I can fix this because I'm going to send this one to some, so Cole's going to get one of these two and Jared's going to get the other one. I'm going to see if I can't fix this and get it to a point where it's actually something that they're going to be able to review. So give me a second, let me grab some tools and we're going to tear this thing apart and take a look at it inside. So I've got everything laid out that I need. I need a T7 and a T9. Now, the problem I had with this before, I could not figure out how to get the pivot. I finally got the pivot broke loose. I thought it was stripped because all it did was spin. Turns out it's a double-sided pivot. So let's go ahead and let's see. This should be the one for everything. We get this pocket clip off and then start taking this knife apart. Sorry, my garage door is open because it is a nice day today and I just want to get some fresh air in here and enjoy the day in my workshop slash studio. So if you hear some outside noise, it's 100% because I have the door open. Come on, why, get, why won't I get in there? So, um, I don't have a lot of faith that we're gonna get this apart and get it back together and fix it, but we shall see. So let's go ahead and just get this pivot out. So I don't know why previously, oh, I can already see there's just metal dust. These screws are probably just trash. So that's actually, I got to pivot out with the wrong size bit. So I don't know. We'll see, let's get this thing apart and see. Maybe we'll be able to get it back together. But this is what's inside of a $10 knife. Let me go ahead and get my bowl. And we're gonna get all these parts separated. So these are the parts here. These parts I'm gonna put in the actual pocket clip so we don't get those screws mixed up with anything else. Hopefully they're at least all similar size. See how much longer these screws are than that one? So we'll put that like that. And Let's go ahead and get this thing apart. Now, I, I'm, I have no illusions that this knife is still going to be trash. It's not like I'm going to be able to take this apart, clean it up, and fix it, and have a repaired, usable knife. So, so you can see there's your spring. There's your spring that goes through and sits in that hole in the blade. And then, let's see. Wow, this thing is really, really bad. So, I mean, basically, that's what you got. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure what's rattling around in there. I think it might. Not sure what's going on here. 
but like I said, this is an integral part of the uh, thing. It's not like you can really, well, I could remove it now, I suppose, because that was hot trash, but I'm gonna put that back on because whichever Jared or Cole that gets this is gonna get that. So basically it's a liner lock, a shitty liner lock, I should say. You see, these were just plastic scales and then a little spring here that sat in that hole in the blade. And that's what was your actual action. So just garbage little nylon washers. They're not even nylatron, they're not steel. You can see through them. That's what was in this knife. So there you go. So now we've got this problem resolved, I believe. But now the issue is, why is that sprung so hard like that? So I don't know. I'm going to take a look at it. I thought that this was just part of the liner. Uh, it is not. It's its own separate piece. So let's go ahead and take those screws out and see if we can get this out. Because this is, I'm going to tell you guys right now, that is not sharp at all. You can't cut anything with that. So now we see how it was constructed. What I'm hearing rattling is these screws are loose there we go that's what we keep hearing rattle and then pivot is just a single-sided pivot that's why it was spinning that's why i was having so much problem uh oh we lost it we lost a garbage washer okay there we go there it is so let's go ahead and start putting this back together but like i said the, the liners on this super super thin um it does have a detent ball but i'm gonna place a bet that you're not really well it does have a detent hole i'm i'm kind of surprised a lot of times you don't see a detent hole in these this is just very very crazy like you can see how much like i didn't oil this knife it came that nasty let me grab something here let me grab a rag and we'll wipe this down i'll get it put back together. wipe this all down we're gonna put this back together i mean i want i'm gonna flip a coin to see which which one of these goes to Jared and which one goes to Cole. Um, but I'm going to clean them up. I want to give them, at least give them a fair shot. Because it's, it, like, just cleaning it up is going to be a lot. Uh-oh. A lot better. Yeah, you can see that. That's not even, that's not even nylon or anything. That's just clear plastic. That is just a clear plastic piece that they have just cut out of some sort of bubble some sort of packaging they had laying around they're like oh let's just make that into washers so there's one should be one more there's the other one let's get them both we got them both cleaned up and uh we'll put this back together now i do know that there are people that carry these knives i do know that there's people that carry these knives and if you are on a budget i'm not going to say that a gas station knife won't serve purpose for a single day um I just personally think that they're not as safe. I mean, really, I had this knife for a total of about 48 hours in pocket before it decided to try to come apart. So glass breaker, just another piece of metal. No real good sense of the hardness on anything. I doubt if this would actually do a very good job breaking a window. Get an actual knife with a window breaker. So let's go ahead and put that pivot back in. Wherever I put it, there it is. It found its way to the magnet. So let's go ahead and get this pivot put back in. It's not a keyed pivot or anything, so it will definitely spin. We're probably gonna have a hard time getting this put back together correctly. Let's go ahead and put one of our washers on. Let's go grab our KPL here. I'm actually probably gonna, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use KPL Heavy because this is not bearings, it's washers. The KPL Heavy is a little bit more grease-like. It's a gel, it's a lot. Well, heavier, as said, indicated in the name. So that might give us a little bit better action. And I like to keep my I keep my KPL heavy turned upside down. It keeps more of it in the tube. And that way you don't have to fight with it and the bubbles rise to the top. So I just glued a cap for a water bottle on my, <laughs> on my bottle of KPL heavy so I could store it in the upright, upside down position. So let's go ahead and put this blade on. Yeah, see, this this was not, it's still, it's, I'm gonna have to, 
Let's see. Am I going to be able to... Is it going to lock up or is it ruined? If this might be ruined. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to put the scale on. Well, let's put the washer on first. Oh, it would help. It would help to put the stop pin in. Like, you do... You, you know how to make knives, so you should know. But that stop pin is going to need to go in there. So, stop pin's in. Yeah, guys, I don't think this is actually going to lock up when we're done. I'm not 100% sure. Can't be for certain. Let's get our other washer. Put our other washer on. Little, little droppy drop of a uh, KPL Heavy. Put a little drop of that goo on there. Put this scale back on. Get that. Oh, oh, yeah, see. That's the problem with these really, really cheap knives. They are very difficult to get put back together. They don't want to cooperate with you. They want to fight you the entire time. And I, it doesn't help that I'm having to keep tension. There we go. I think, I think we may have it. Let's go ahead and try and get the spring back in. The blade there. Get that pinched in like that. And let's get this other scale on it. Now the scale is what's holding that spring. 100% guarantee that scale is what's holding that spring, which is not the optimal way. But let's go ahead and get at least one of these screws in to hold these scales in place. There we go. That should hold that enough for me to get the other um two screws on let's go ahead i was looking for screws sorry about that nothing worse when your screws run away so let's see can we get this now i did leave that um window breaker out it kept falling out i just didn't bother trying to put it in i made the conscious decision in my head to just say screw it um so there's that now let's get this pivot screw back in Let's see. How are we doing here? I don't think that this is going to have much chance of survival. I don't think that this is going to get us. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a problem. There, let's see. That pivot. There we go. There we go. There's a bad spot on those threads. So, do we have a working knife? We do have a working knife. It's still got so much play in it, though. Can I get the pivot any tighter? Let's see. If I get the pivot tighter, then it won't lock out. I've got to play that little game of... You gotta do this Benchmates. Yes, I'm comparing a Benchmade to a $10 knife. You gotta find that spot where you don't have blade play you still got free action which is kind of hard to do sometimes but there you go guys we got this apart we got it back together i don't i don't have a lot of faith that it's gonna hold up it could have been that the pivot got a little loose and let this thing get out of position but i can still twist the blade left and right which is not something you should be able to do with a solid piece of material so i don't know i'm gonna send this one i'm gonna flip a coin one of these two is going to Jared, and one of these two is going to Cole. I got to flip a coin and see who gets which one, and then uh, get make sure I got their addresses and everything. But they're going to get these in for review. But first, we're going to do a video before I send these, because I think they're both going to Blade Show. Um, I'm going to do a Left Behind podcast, or a Left Behind live feed, uh, the days of Blade Show, so that you guys are getting content for me, because I'm not going. I didn't get invited to go from any company i didn't have money to go and the plan that we had for me to go kind of fell through so i will be doing live feeds on that but i just wanted to get this apart put it back together take that horrible horrible backspace I, I made that decision as we were doing it that um this this is nothing but a pain uh so we decided just to leave it out so we are got to figure out who's going to get which one got them both back, got it back together i'm probably going to sharpen one of these before i do uh, and send it off. Uh, Jared, whichever one goes to Jared, Jared's going to have to do the sharpening on. Uh, I want him to share in the disgust of what is the steel that are on these. So there you go, guys. Taking apart a $10 gas station knife. 
that we didn't get from a gas station. I, I have to say, it's still, even putting it together as good as I could, it still definitely favors the, would that be the show scale? I guess, yeah, it's, that's the show scale. It's the painted side. This thing's hideous, hideous. All right, guys, that's it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. No outro. I'll talk to you later.